Good stuff. Well, thanks for that, Nick. Well, now it's time to talk about this week's unsung hero. That's right. His name is Bob McKnight, and he's from Heron. Now, he worked as a coal miner for most of his life, the 90-year-old now retired. Oh, that's good. Well, his biggest hobby has helped hundreds of children in Heron throughout the years. News 3's Brandon Murano has his story. Old Faithful is working again. You can oh. call Bob McKnight a builder. And what he's been building for more than 20 years. When I was a kid, I had nothing. Nothing. See, I'm 90 year old. And in the days, we didn't have no bicycles. Has brought joy to hundreds of people in Heron. And I said to myself, well, I'm going to try to help others because I know what it means for little kids that have bicycles to see the expression on their faces. It's, it's wonderful, you know? You'd be surprised that people don't know, even know how to do this. Created or with his work. heart. Hey, now, the doctor told me that 97% of my heart is dead. 97%. They put a pacemaker in, and that's what's keeping me going. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. My 3% is pretty big. But that's exactly what they said. And I'm not, I'm not telling you any story that make up stuff because that's what they told me. And I said, well, I'm not supposed to be here. And they said, that's right. But we're going to keep you here as long as we can. I said, I appreciate that. It's an appreciation reciprocated throughout the whole community. From the way people have talked to me about him, he's like the Santa Claus man. <laughs> yeah, well, the reason why is because I give these bicycles away at Christmas time and they, they say I'm a Santa Claus. I give them to the needy kids that live down in the housing. They don't have nothing. Bob says building and fixing all these bikes for all these years is one thing keeping him going. Yeah. The other? Life is not the, you know, it's, it's not, not the roses all the time. So I've learned to take the bitter with the sweet, okay? Because uh, I'm not perfect, but I'm striving. His faith. I pastor a church. I've been pastoring for at least 50 to 60 years. Faith that's carrying Bob through life to this day. You had a stroke, and then uh, he was telling me you had cancer as well? I've got cancer in three different places. I'm still going. I'm supposed to be dead. But <laughs> God has been good to me. And Bob has been good to countless people in his community. Over the years, he's collected thousands of bike parts, fixing anyone's two-wheel needs, most of the time for free. Do you think it keeps you going in a way? I think it does. If I, if I didn't, my boy's been trying to get me to stop this the last 15 years. He'd been trying to stop me. He said, Dad, you're too old to fool with that. I said, no, I'm not. I'm going to do it till I, till I have, have to give it up completely. So, yeah, uh, I, that's what's kept me going, really. We loved each other. After losing his wife of nearly 50 years, Bob's faith to helping others remains strong. What would your advice to... Uh to people, your life advice to people be? I, uh, my, my advice would be to be honest with people. Don't lie to them about this, that, and something else. Uh, treat people with respect, and uh, you will be rewarded in heaven for it. That's what my Bible says, so. By taking a page from Bob's book, you'll see a little kindness can go a long way, creating a legacy throughout his community. Just saw you wave there. Seems like everybody in town. Oh, they do. They do. I'll be up at Walmart. I'll be say, just for instance. I'll be up there at Walmart, and uh, and then I'll hear somebody say, "Hey, bicycle Bob, we across the room over there." I'll wave at them. Say, "You gonna be home this afternoon?" Yeah, we got a bike we want to fix. Okay, <laughs> or something to that effect. It's always something. Something bicycle Bob McKnight doesn't plan on stopping anytime soon. Now I drove all through Heron asking at least a dozen people about the guy who builds bikes. Every single one of them said, oh, you mean Bicycle Bob. Well, we thank Bicycle Bob for his service and kindness in his community. If you want to see Bob's story again, head to our website and nominate someone making a difference in your community. You can go to WSILTV.com unsung. For Unsung Hero, I'm Brandon Morano, News 3.